Now, many of you already know that today Neo gave us the official results of the deliveries or the total deliveries that they had for the month of April. I've done a video about that and discussing why this is a new era for Neo. Why these deliveries, which by the way were around 23,900, were pretty, pretty decent deliveries and what we could expect in the future. If you have not watched that video, I would recommend you go and have a look at this video because we dive in deep and why is this month of may it's very very important for neo if you have not watched go watch that video but today or, or right now rather on this video i want to talk to you about some pretty good decent comments that which came from the neo ceo way he was saying something very important about the neo existing models the nt 2.0 existing models the existing ones they are selling now and he compares the capability of the computing power of those existing ones versus the computing power of the ET9 and he went and said I think he was introducing the cars the ET5, ES6 and the other models which was on that Neo house he was visiting and he said look those cars have got the strongest computing power globally but when he got to the ET9 he said something very interesting and confidently boldly said that ET9 has got the strongest computing power in the entire world or globally which is something that is great, something that shows you that NEO, whatever they are doing, it's something that, of course, globally, it is challenging all the other car makers and they see the massive potential, the massive strength that NEO is gathering or has been gathering. A lot of people have been complaining or used to complain about the spending that NEO has been putting onto their technology, onto R&Ds, but what we are hearing from the NEO CEO Obviously, is that they have got, they have succeeded. Uh, spending a lot of money has brought them to where they are today, which is why that is very important, and that is why he's talking about ET9 having the strongest computing power globally. I mean, you will know that ET9 uses Neo's internal operating system called SkyOS, and that operating system, my man, I think it's ex it's one of the top operating systems that you can ever find in the market. The good thing is that Neo said they are willing to rent it out to other EV companies or new energy vehicle car companies that, that want it, which signals or signifies that obviously Neo can easily generate a lot of money from this computing uh, or this operating system which they are having, which this, my friends, is something that is great. So hearing those that comment, coming from the CEO of NEO get to remind us about the kind of products that NEO is building. It's not just a beauty on the outside, like he said, the ET9, when you talk about beauty, I, I, it's an understatement, right? You, you really have to see the car. The car is very, or oh, it's extremely beautiful, which is something that obviously it's great when you look or when you talk about the ET9. So the CEO of NEO coming and say this, I suppose it's, it's, it's a great stuff, right? I mean, right now, Neo NT 2.5 uh, models that are all coming, including the NT 3.0 model like the ET9, are using or will be utilizing Neo's uh, autonomous driving chip, which that chip, it's also a game changer. I mean, it is able to compete with uh, NVIDIA's latest uh, autonomous driving chip and beat that kind of chip even in some of the some of the features which is something that is great and it speaks volumes about the company neo has become and these my friends once again the neo ceo has said look this chip is open to anyone that want to use it which is something that once again it's pretty amazing it's pretty decent the most difficult thing about this chip or what the neo ceo said because you will know that the current 2024 new models are using for NVIDIA Orange chips, right, uh, for autonomous driving. This one, he said, one of the most difficult things to do was to, of course, make an interface in the car that this chip can, can be installed and it's able to respond to the car. He said that was the most difficult thing, but NEO has got it. NEO has done it, which is something that is great, something that is just so exciting to know the kind of progress that Neo has made. So seeing the Neo CEO coming and talking, discussing about this, I suppose it's good news. This is quite interesting because a few years ago, a uh, couple of months ago, a lot of people, including some of the retail investors, 
they were complaining about Neo spending a lot of money, but today we are smiling. Though Neo is not yet profitable, but based off what Neo has been launching, uh, comparing that to their peers or other new energy vehicle car makers, we have seen or we are seeing that indeed Neo is doing exceptionally well, which is something that is great and something that obviously makes us uh, to want to to, to to load the boat because we are encouraged what we are seeing Neo. Neo is just doing so well. It's putting a great show for all to see. Even those other investors that never believed or that never thought Neo would be where it is right now, they see the blue sky that we have been talking, I've been talking with some of the few investors, even when Neo was at a 52-week low, which is around $3. One thing that we know about Neo is that Neo is a company which wants to be unique and to be uh, competitive and because of that eagerness to be at the top, Neo will still remain for years and years in the market, which that will excite those that are investing in the long term, like some of you guys and myself included, right? I mean, I'm in this game for, for the long period. I know short term headwinds are there, but I, I remain long, I remain strong because I know that uh, blue sky is coming. Those that are persevering will most definitely be rewarded with uh, a time so yeah man 23,900 is the total deliveries that neo got over 40,000 it's the total deliveries that i expect on a minimum coming this month of uh, may and i'm basing off this due to of course the firefly uh, deliveries due to of course the revamp the, the new the 89 and also the upcoming es6 ec6 which should start with the deliveries end of this month june it will be another month where we see obviously um even more products coming in because 85 touring 85 mid then you will notice that it is be, they are going to be launched around the end of may this is based on the information that apparently president william lee hong of uh, neo highlighted that that is the plan which this led in even into some of the big financial institutions like Citi coming to retirate a buy rating with a price target of $8.10. Which looking at when US country trading at, you and me can agree that it's an opportunity of a lifetime and I will not let this opportunity pass me by. Which is why whatever I can uh, in terms of money, whatever I can get, I try to invest as much as possible onto near my average officially. It's below $16 and I intend on continuing to load whenever I can possibly. I mean, I've managed a couple of days, I've managed to buy over 500 shares, which some of the transaction I did take a screenshot showing you guys to say that, look, we are in it for the long term, right? And yeah, I'm just so glad because a few years ago, or in fact, 2022, my average on Tunio went to $36 and to see that now I'm below sixteen dollars it's something that is just so great something that is amazing and the more money i get the more i load the boat because i know the kind of company i'm buying i know that blue sky is coming so yeah man i just thought i'd give you this quick updates of the comments that were just said by the new ceo at a new house talking about the computing power of the existing models and the models that new just recently launched so this shows or tells us that Indeed, blue sky is coming. Those that are persevering will most definitely be rewarded with time. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will see you on the next one. And God bless you all.